All right, hello, everybody, and welcome to Nameless and Shameless, a podcast of four guys talking about life, stuff, stuff music, games, or hedgehogs, philosophy. hippopotamuses, our philosophy of badgers. Um, Are badgers good? I don't know. Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about <laughs> do, 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 do theme song. I we don't have that, that theme song yet. Well, I'll give you a hint on what it's going to sound like. There's a lot of elephant noises and a lot of mm, <laughs> bone crunching noises. It's hard to explain, but is that really a understand. hint or just a straight out fact? <laughs> elephant, elephant, elephant. Bone, That's a pretty straight out. Elephant bone, bone elephant. I would never bone an elephant. That's fine. Would you do it for a, uh, a Scooby Dyke? treat? Do it Scooby snack. Snack. Or Scooby snack. <laughs> so for a Klondike Scooby bar. Snack? Um, so I'm Weston. I'm hosting the podcast. Sitting beside me is my brother Wiley. Hey Wiley. Hey. And sitting on the other end of the microphone is Alex. Hey Alex. Hey. Uh, this week Logan can't join us. He's got other um, obligations and whatever else. He can't quite hey. make it this week, but that's okay. Uh, the three of us are here instead. Um, what we're gonna do is we like to uh, we, we like to get the ball rolling a little bit. <laughs> With a lighthearted sort of game. Uh, we usually do Would You Rathers. I've got a slightly different game for us this week. It's Will You Press the Button. <laughs> and then um, after, we're going to do that for 20, oh, 20 to 30 minutes, whatever, however long we feel like until just it gets boring to us. Um, and then we're going to just talk about other stuff that we've been doing in our lives, basically, uh, for the last half hour. Um, we try to theme our week weekly episodes off of something uh this week we don't have anything in mind so it's just gonna be kind of a what we've been up to more or less and whatever has been interesting us lately and we'll talk about that as we get there cool. i want to push right. these buttons come on all right so we're gonna start with will you press the button and it's very similar to would you rather except the idea is that you're posed with okay would you press the button um if in pressing, uh, so this will be the first one. This is just the example, right? Would you press the but press the button if doing so would allow you to date someone who everyone thinks is extremely hot, attractive, and sexy, but you yourself think they are hideous? <laughs> would I push that button? So would you? Who's this going to? Uh, th this is the example one. So Alex, oh, okay. would you would you date someone who everyone thinks is extremely hot, attractive, and sexy, but you yourself think they're hideous? Would you no, press that I, button? No, that button is not going to be pressed by me. All right, you won't press the button. No. It looks like I'm shallow. It looks like you're in the minority. Only twenty. <laughs> um, oh, Seriously? I'm sorry. No, you're in the majority. Seventy-three okay. percent people didn't press the button like you did, and twenty-seven percent people pressed the button. Gotcha. All right, and that's how that works. Um, we'll probably just go in order like we've done before. Just um. Um, um, just go from Alex to me to Wiley, just in alphabetical order, basically. I'm going to pop out chat. I'm going to move some stuff around on my screen. You can't see this. I'm just doing something. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Okay. Can't see it, but trust us, it's happening. So, Wiley, nice would there. you like to read this next one to me? All right. So, Star Wars Episode Seven turns out to be the best Star Wars to date, but... George Lucas decides to make another prequel trilogy. Oh, man. All right, well, I didn't have a problem with George Lucas's first prequel trilogy anyway. So I'd press the button, sure. Because, yeah, you know what? I know a lot, because obviously this is towards the fans that think the prequels are bad. I don't think they're that bad. I'm on Team Jar Jar. I freaking love Jar Jar. Oh, yeah. Everyone else hates him. Wiley, weren't you telling me, and, like... Oh, the... You were um, telling me that there's this theory, right, that um, Jar Jar is a Sith Lord? Yeah, this guy's theory I, re I read on Facebook. If I knew I was going to be talking about it here, I wish I knew the guy's name. But he was talking about how Jar Jar could possibly be the most powerful Sith Lord in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> However, because everyone hated him, George Lucas um, dropped the idea... And that's actually why we have a Count Dooku. Right. So there's there's some information on that. I would just look it up because it's crazy. He has um 
yeah facts and um evidence from the actual movies so he's not just like making it up it's not just speculation so it's, it's pretty pretty interesting i say alex i know i know you're not really in star wars but have you have you just you know in your wanderings around ever heard of uh, jar jar from star wars <clears throat> i have yeah you have the really super goofy guy yeah mm-hmm. yeah he, he could have been a powerful sith lord <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny all right so wiley would you press the button if you could marry Rob Stark? Wait, is that a guy? I don't know who I Rob Stark is. I believe Rob I'll will look be it up right now. a man's name. Rob Stark? Yes. All right, I think that's probably a man's oh, name. Oh, you will die at the Red Wedding. This is, um... Rob Stark is an, an Australian Thrones. ice hockey player currently playing for the Newcastle huh. North Stars, an Australian ice hockey league. I think I'm just going to give Wiley a new one. I, did, I didn't read the question <laughs> ahead of time. All right, well, here's one for you. Uh, if you press the button, you'll have telepathic connection to your hard drives, and the internet can perfectly run digital programs in your mind and open and view any file. But you are mute. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh, man. Telepathic connections to your hard drives and the internet can perfectly run digital programs in your mind and open such view any file. That is what he said. Uh, that's that's a hard one. I would actually, I would not hit the button. I, I would not like to be mute. You, you wouldn't hit the button for I, that? I would not hit the button. All right, you will not. Let's see. You're in the minority, 46%. So it's, it's actually pretty close. 46% didn't hit the button. 54% hit the button. I know personally I'd probably hit the button because that is... Who that is a powerful telepathic I mean, ability. Yeah, it would be very useful, but I think also talking can be pretty useful. Because, like, you could learn sign language, I guess, right? I mean, yeah, but you'd also have to make sure you're talking to someone who knows sign language. That's that's very true. Like, I, I hate that when people say, it's like, well, I'd rather be mute because you can always learn sign language. Well, I think the average person doesn't know sign language. Yes, that's pretty true. So you couldn't talk to the average person. No. I guess you could just carry a clipboard around, like a whiteboard, and just <laughs> write messages. Alex, cool. weren't, you, weren't you learning sign language, or you learned sign language? Yeah, when I was younger, uh, I actually learned basic sign language. I can still, like, if I saw someone do it, I could know, like, kind of like, say it took, like, t- I don't know, like, Weston, how well can you do Spanish? Can you do it, like, to where, like, if you heard someone talk in Spanish, could you hear pretty much They'd what they're saying? They'd have to be talking pretty slowly. Because I, I can't always, I can't pick up on all the words very quickly, but um, right. basically, like it has to be I guess basic. What I'm saying, I basically is like I could carry a conversation. I just it would have to be a pretty simple conversation. But yeah, yeah I can you, do it. Can you show us how to do hello? Yeah, yeah. it's this. <laughs> yeah, can you show everyone listening right yeah. now how to do hello? Did you see it? All right, cool. Oh wow, that was impressive. It's a neat trick. I didn't know you could right. do that with your legs. I know. I didn't know you used your legs in sign language. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's the new norm. It's uh, you take off your shoes and you just have to like make uh, like shadow figures with your hands and feet on the wall. <laughs> it's called alternative sign language. Altern- alternate <laughs> language. It's a southern dialect. <laughs> it's a southern thing. <laughs> Maybe we'll get those different dialects of sign language. That would be. Well, I always thought think I. There, there no. has to be though, right? Like internationally, there probably <clears throat> is. But how? Like, it's... Like, if you just had, like, because, you know, like, how different motions, like, the, say the middle finger, for example, means different things in different cultures. So, like, true. in sign language, you'd almost think that some symbols would have to change, you know? That's true. Yeah, you're right. So, I, you almost wonder if there has to be different dialects of sign language. Yeah, no kidding. That'd be weird. Weird to see. Yeah. Would be. Huh. All right, Alex. Yes. Will you press the button? All computer viruses are destroyed, never to return. But you are still required by law to have an expensive security on your computer. How expensive is the security? Expensive. <sighs> What's? I guess it's relative. So whatever is considered expensive to me. Yeah. Um. Frankly, yeah. I mean. Yeah, why not? I, 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 guess I would press the button just because. I mean, 
Usually I'm on some website for... <laughs> <laughs> this is no, actually I mean. extremely split. Literally 50% pressed it, 50% did not. Really? Yeah, it's, it's like... It's kind of like that question, like, would you destroy all the viruses, meaning you can't possibly get it, but you still have to pay for the security? Or would you rather right. have the viruses, pay for a cheaper security, and run the risk that you'll never have to worry about it anyway? You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's, it's weird having to think about having to pay for something you know you clearly don't need. See, now, like... Yeah, that's true. Even though you're paying for it, would you... You have to ask to do it, you have to, like, upgrade it or whatever... It, you know, get a new one. It just said you had to pay for it. If it's like I'm a one, curious. if it's a one-time fee, then yeah. Yeah, but how expensive is it? Expensive, like, cause like, I don't know. Cause if it's just like, say you have to buy the buy the the, the protective software or whatever, and say it's like two hundred bucks. Cause see, I don't know. It depends. If this is block, if this if all the viruses are gone, I'm sure it's going to be a lot more. If this is like. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's a weird question. I feel like when they say by law, if you don't have it, do you go to prison? <laughs> Your computer's not protected. You're going to jail. And like, how it's a hard time. How, how would they know? Oh, they know. It's kind of like car insurance in Illinois. You have to have it, but some people don't. So, like, yep. they wouldn't know if you have it or not, as long as you never get in a crash. And, you know, as long as you don't get a virus, no one will know, but there's no viruses. Wiley, the government's looking at your computer right now. They see exactly what's going on on that screen. I don't have a computer. Well, he's got a computer, but it's not on my it's computer. Not. No, dude, man, I've got super encryptions. They can't see Jack. You just see, like, Obama typing on the computer to say, hey, sup. I, I don't think I don't think Obama would be doing the hacking. He oh, would yeah. be the you guy. Know, oh please. If any president's gonna be doing what he shouldn't be doing, it's gonna be Obama. He would be all over your YouTube page. Cause isn't it like the the presidents aren't supposed to actually use computers? I, I could see that. Who controls like his Twitter though? I uh, just like a a group of people. It, it's literally a, it's like almost a committee of it's basically your uh PR department, your your um, um, public relations department. There's going to be a small group of people that just takes care of all that sort of thing. Yeah, I think that'd be kind of funny, like Obama on your YouTube. Like, okay, now if I get a Saw game, how am I gonna how am I gonna beat <laughs> this? <laughs> how do I help oh, those funny. aliens? <laughs> God. Oh, yeah, or destroy the, the aliens, whatever it was. I can't uh, remember. It was uh, o Obama and the Mayan prophecy. Is yeah. what I. Yeah, that was the video I did. I don't even remember how that went. I remember you making it. Yeah, I remember playing it. I think there was a part where I was on a beach with a bunch of bikini babes. Oh hey, we we got a comment over here from uh, Juan Bra. I know I'm reading it over and over again, and I don't understand. Do we, has Juan seen us before? Juan Bra says. That's, or bruh. Juan bruh says, Hi, of NSA Southcom Station. I think I think he works for the NSA. I think they're listening. <laughs> well, let's not say anything we shouldn't then. Oh god, he says Obama, the Illuminati and the Reptilians. That that sounds like that sounds like a mess. That's a, that's a, that <laughs> yeah, that's a big old mess. <laughs> a big old mess. Alright. Cool. Wiley, would you like to read me this next one? All right. You can cure any illness at will. But every time you cure an illness, you will lose an important part of your memory. You got to ask yourself, will that important part of memory be the memory of you curing illnesses? <laughs> I guess I guess it was just like an intrinsic ability of yours, like uh, you just you just did. You know, because because it's at will, so it's not like a thing you do. You just will it. You just say, "All right, you're cured now." Basically, would you like to be Jesus but not remember that you're Jesus? <laughs> would you? <laughs> I, I like that analysis. Would you like to be Jesus but not remember you're Jesus? <laughs> that, that that would be a hilarious question. I think, like, okay, I'm gonna take a stand for humanity. You know, I think because. I gotta imagine, like, if I can actually cure any illness at will, like, that would have to be my life, like, uh, call, my life, my life calling, right? If I had that ability, that would have to be my lifetime calling. 
So, like, my memory might not be important, you know what I mean, to, f to fulfilling that. Yeah. I don't, I almost, you'd almost become, like, an Oracle of Delphi situation where you just, you're, you're there for everyone else, never to have your own life. It sounds kind of depressing, but at the same time, that's, like, a really high purpose. I think I'd press the button. You'd press it. It... Oh, uh, 44% pushed it, uh, 56 didn't, so I'm kind of in the minority there, but I feel like it's kind of a high pr I don't mean to sound noble, I just feel like if I could do that, that would be kind of amazing. That would be really cool. All right. You would definitely be, you know, in a little tiny section of a textbook somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you, just could a probably tiny get a, you could probably get a whole page. And of course, you have to wonder, if he's too, lucky. like... Just a picture. <laughs> if you can cure any illness, you know, you almost wonder if, like, what constitutes illness? Because you think about um, aging and people that die of quote-unquote old age. That doesn't really exist. Usually you, f you die because something fails. So mm -hmm. do you have any other curative properties, or is it just, like, bacteria and viruses? So that's kind of an interesting question, too. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Kerbizzle asks, would you forget that you had that ability? I, I think, because the way it described it was that you'd be able to do it at will, so it'd just be an intrinsic ability. So long as you wanted to get rid of the disease, you, you basically just would. So the, the way it's worded, it doesn't really say that you know any kind of Because that's, that's what I was kind of saying about, it's like, would you forget you could do it? If, if I could forget that I would do it, then... Clearly, once I forgot it, that would be the last thing I could forget, because every time I used it, I forgot something. So basically, yeah. once I forgot how to do it, I'd become a normal person. I guess, I guess people would just tell you, hey, you can do this. And you might be like, oh, I believe you, or you're crazy. You're crazy. All right. Wiley, I've got a... I, I think this is fairly straightforward, and it's, it seems kind of easy to me. You're familiar with Harry Potter. Yes. Would you press the button if you could attend Hogwarts... But you had to be in Hufflepuff. See, obviously, I, I'm thinking, here's what you're thinking, right? Yeah. Obviously, I'll go to Hogwarts. I don't care that to be Hufflepuff. Right. On the other hand, like, dangerous stuff happens at Hogwarts. <laughs> I don't I don't even know if I want to be there. <laughs> I got a giant snake in the basement. There's trolls running around. There's a tree that just might smash you if you walk up close to it. This is true, and I guess you could look at it this way. It says that you can attend Hogwarts. It doesn't Maybe. actually say you're a wizard. <laughs> could you? You're, <laughs> you're a muggle attending Hogwarts. Could you imagine? You're a muggle, Wiley. <laughs> it's like, why are you here? I, I don't know. My parents pay tuition. And, like, Hogwarts is, like, really hurting for money, so they're just, like, letting anybody in. Oh, yeah. man. Because, honestly, like, just being there, like, Aside from the fact that there's a lot of dangerous stuff that goes on, like, who cares if you're in Hufflepuff? Like, you're still surrounded by yeah everything. I mean, you know. I'd love to have a bunch of wizard and witch friends. That would be great. I mean, honestly, yeah. I would, yeah, I would go to Hogwarts. You would? You'd yeah, press the button? I'd press the button, yes. Cool. And it looks like, and you're in the majority there. I, I would 68% so, yeah. people pressed the button, 32 did not, which... Because, like I said, it doesn't. I, I guess it doesn't necessarily guarantee that you'd be the wizard, but you, you'd you first of all confirm that the wizarding world exists. And two, I mean, you'd be at Hogwarts, and I don't know, it'd be really cool. Like, I would you could always learn potions. Yeah, I could, anyone can learn potions, I think. Yeah. You don't have to be magical. Corbizzle says they could transfer you to their sister school. Pig pimples. Pig pimples. <laughs> Ew. It's, the, the, the name Hogwarts isn't a very appealing name is it like when you really sit down and think about it yeah. like it's hogwarts they're so used to saying it yeah it's, it's kind of like strange name recently i was talk i was talking to someone about spongebob and like bikini bottom obviously you haven't really thought about it, but it's the bottom of a bikini yeah like yeah the, like, like the butt or maybe the tank like yeah the tank <laughs> like that's i work the tank like they're living in a taint so like where would like bikini top be? I think that was <laughs> <That's> something. <heaven. laughs> it was heaven. something like um, the the land above it, or something. Because I didn't think it's like it's because I don't think it's like a legit in the ocean or I don't know. It's about some beach. 
Oh yeah, it's uh, Caribbean, right? Or like originally, I can't remember. I thought I heard something like that. Because c- in the song, it's at the bottom of the sea. And I think they're referring to the Caribbean Sea. I could be completely wrong. Yeah, like But I, that's where I thought it was. Like I could be just making stuff up. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I don't know. What's that? <laughs> I don't know. says in the comments that time SpongeBob told Gary not to drop the soap. Was there? An, was that an episode? Did that happen? Probably. That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Freaking That's SpongeBob. Funny. God. Oh, SpongeBob. Making what? everybody laugh. SpongeBob keeps it real though. He he doesn't sugarcoat it. He's like, hey, don't drop it. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, I got one for you, oh. Alex. Okay. Would you press the button if the government beca- became effective, like the government worked, did what it was supposed to, if the government became effective, <clears throat> but all 50 states became their own nations? No. Oh. Well, I guess, okay, hold on. What necessarily would... So the government, but who... The government's controlling what then? <laughs> if they're all their right? own nations... <laughs> I just thought about that. I guess What's, it would almost be the government of each of the states since the states become nations. So, you know, state government. Right. Um, I, I, no, it just seems too complicated. I'm not pressing the button. <laughs> you wouldn't press the button? No. It looks like 64% Fif- pressed it, 36 did not. So you're kind of in the I like minority there. The minority. <laughs> that is I don't think like they inter- realize... Like, 50 new nations just like that, like... That would be really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of know what you mean, because, like, okay, the government, like, the federal government gets its stuff together, and then all of a sudden, nope, all right, Not to mention, you'd have to get a passport to go between states. Yeah. (laughs) Didn't even think about that. Like, I'm just thinking, like, if I wanted to go over to Indiana to get my fireworks, I'd have to get a passport. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Lord knows we would, though. What do we still only? What do we still celebrate Fourth of July if we became our own state? Actually, that's a good question. Oh, that's Probably a really not. good point. You'd almost think maybe because, like, okay, we wouldn't like be as a remembrance a country without the other country getting freedom. But then I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's bizarre. Would, would we that's then a... celebrate the day we all became different countries? Would that be our Independence Day? But, but we each all still celebrate it, though, on the same day. I guess the day would just change. Like, whatever day, like, say it happens tomorrow, like, like um, November 9th would be our new Independence Day, I guess. Yeah. But everybody celebrates it, but we're all different. That'd, be, kind of, That's weird. that'd be really weird, all those countries celebrating the same holiday at the same day, but, like, for a different reason. Right. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I want to play more Minecraft in the future. Yeah, I'm just I'm just comment. It wasn't really worth mentioning on the. I was just commenting on the comment section. <laughs> but apparently, the um the SpongeBob episode where he tells Gary not to drop the soap is literally, uh, Gary takes a bath. So oh. no, I think it'll be I, worth looking up. I vaguely remember that now, and like I, when I was a kid, you obviously just think it's something like silly, like don't drop the soap because then you got to pick it up. Yeah, Not like. like I remember being younger and being aware of the joke, but not having any idea why it was funny. You just, you think it's funny because of a different reason. Yeah. You know, like, whoop, 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 oopsie, I dropped the soap. Oh, that's so that, funny. That's yeah. what SpongeBob did right, because you can make the parents laugh and make the kids laugh at once. Yeah, and that is, that is so true. Uh, SpongeBob's so good. All right. Uh, Wiley, I think I'm up next, so if you want to read this one. All right. You instantly learn all languages fluently, but you can only speak one language or any on any given day. Ooh. I think... I, 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 think it, I, I think it'd be worth doing, like, if I could instantly learn all languages fluently, so that if I ever traveled, I could just switch to that language on a given day. I'd press the button. Yeah, I would see that, because, like, I, you would probably just use it for traveling, then. And it looks like 70% pushed the button, 30 didn't. Yeah, it, that seems like, like, even if you couldn't use multiple languages in a day, just knowing all the different languages 
would just be so helpful, you know? Oh, yeah. Also, could you, like, read any language on any day? Or would it also be like, oh, I want to speak this language, so you can only read that language? You know what I mean? Um... I already moved on. I, oh. It said, what, "Did it say learn all languages fluent?" I think it said learn to speak them fluently. Oh, okay. So I don't, I don't know about reading, but I don't know nothing. About so reading. Mo, got a question? Sure. Um, I see that you had some. I can't remember where I saw it, but do you use Duolingo or whatever it's called? Yes, I've got Does... Duolingo. It's it's um it's it's actually they've got a website, and I I use the app quite a bit. And it's uh, it helps teach you. It's got a few, a number of different languages on it that you can learn for free, and it's kind of like a, it's it's kind of like a game. It's it's got some game elements to make it interesting to do. How how do you think it works for someone who would maybe st starting from scratch? Um, I started German from scratch a long time ago. I actually haven't touched it since because right now I've been using it just uh, to advance my Spanish. Right now, um, but I started it with German from scratch, and it's doable. Um, the further you get into it, it's a little less clear about teaching you sentence structure and grammar. It's kind of better with vocab and simpler sentences and stuff like that. But it's definitely a good way to get, in my opinion, it's a good way to get your feet wet in another language. Right, okay. Yeah. This isn't me, okay. like, we're not sponsored or anything by Duolingo, but I, I, I really do um, like it. I, I really like using its app just when I'm bored and need something to do and... I've I've been using it to wean myself off of Clash of Clans. Um, I haven't yeah. pl I haven't played it in a couple weeks now. I'm I'm glad I'm I'm proud to say uh, I'm finally I'm, I'm trying to kick my addiction. Good. <laughs> it's been a real problem. Admitting the addiction is the is the first step. Yeah, I would spend like every day just like oh my god I gotta leave my clan they're all idiots they don't know how to. Uh. <laughs> Seems so frustrated. Yeah, so I'm like okay I I'll leave. All right. Uh, this next one's for Wiley. Would you press the button if you could uh, go to the toilet without making Ooh. a sound, but you can hear everyone at the toilet twice as loud as normal? Oh man. I think this is mostly a question of how much you care whether someone else hears you using the toilet. Like. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Cause that's true. I guess I don't think it's really that like worth it to hear someone like grunting to push one out twice <laughs> as loud just to be silent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just I just imagine ah! someone's like going comma get like going super saiyan on the toilet like ah! <laughs> like you know like normally it's just kind of uh, uh, but this time like it's twice <laughs> as loud so the ah <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's always that awkward moment when you're in a public restroom trying to, like, wash your... Like, this happened to me at school the other day. I'm washing my hands. I didn't know there was anyone else in the restroom. And I just hear this, like, bloop, of someone hitting the Kerplunk. water. And I'm just like, what the... God, it's so... What I usually... I didn't like, know there was anyone in do, there. If I have to... I have, if I have to let it go in there, like, I wait till someone, like, flushes the toilet next door and I just let them push it all as fast as I can. <laughs> Like, I'll be yeah, honest. You, you just wait for your moment. <laughs> yep. Because I just don't want them to just get there's a flush and, and just force it out as, all at once. You're um, just like, come on, come on, someone flush. Yeah, come on, flush the toilet already, come on. Someone yell or something, or somebody else be louder than me. Something. That's funny. What do we want to talk about this week? Um, I... Talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you. It's been and I don't know the last I don't know I've got really nothing. Like how's how's Jawbone Stew, Alex? How's the band? How's, how's Jawbone Stew? Actually, you know Stew? what? You know what? Forget Jawbone Stew. I want to tell I want to tell a story about what happened at work today. That's right. You do have a story for what happened at work oh, today. Yes. Man. Yeah. You're, do you're tell? Good. I forgot all about it. Your mother came in. I heard. <laughs> yes, my mom did come in. So I'm working. It's a Sunday. Sundays I usually work on my own, and it's a pretty slow day. But I had a few customers in and. Then I was getting ready to close up in about, and about an hour before, or an hour, about 30 minutes before I closed because I was closing afterwards. A guy came in, um, and old, he was probably in his 40s, he was older actually, um, and he uh, came in, he was looking at getting the phone, and then he said, he said, uh, what did he say? It was, it was weird how he said it, but basically he was just like, I introduced myself, I said, I'm Alex, he said his name, and said, actually, I already know who you are, and I was like, <laughs> "Wow, what? 
And um, he's like, yeah, actually, this is going to sound weird, but, like, I actually, I watch your YouTube channel. Oh, um, wow. And it was just like, what the heck is going on? Like, it was so weird. It's like, he said, yeah, I'm, a, I'm actually a producer. I have a little studio down the road here, and I just oh, really? produce kind of small-time bands. And, um, and I, I found you on YouTube, and uh, and I just wondered if you wanted to, like, you know, I would love to have you come by, and, you know, and give me show me some original stuff you got and everything like that. And we, we exchanged information and everything. But, like, it was just, that was the first time I ever met somebody who was a fan of my channel that I didn't know. You know what I mean? Like, that's a, that's yeah. a pretty cool thing. And I, well, so, I, I saw you tweeted about that. I didn't realize he was also a producer of some kind. Yeah, I didn't put that on there. Yeah, he. Um, I, I'm pretty sure he's just probably pretty laid back and not really success, success yeah, successful in anything. Um, yeah, like not like a big name, it. but still. right. But still, it'd be kind of cool to just kind of see. And I told him about the band because he didn't know about Job Won't Do It All. He just knew about my channel. Right. Um, but yeah, so that was really really cool. So that's that's it. It was just cool to kind of you know meet someone. And then mom, then mom came in <laughs> afterwards. Like I couldn't, I couldn't imagine like just uh, working because I work at Subway. I just couldn't imagine be, being like making some some guy's sandwich and having him be like, dude, hello YouTube's. <laughs> just you never in know. Line. I you would not know. know how to react. It's it's well, I'll tell you this. This is the first time it's ever happened for me, and it's weird because like you you want to say thank you, but like I don't. There's so many things, but you also just like. It's bizarre. I it's don't also, know. Also, especially because like it isn't like you have like a million a million subscribers or anything. Right. You're not like overly big. Right. So then to meet someone like living around the same area as you. Right. See, that's the thing too. Like, what are the odds of someone like just thirty miles east of me? Well, also, channel. did he know you worked there? Yeah. Was he stalking you? Like, did he go there to talk to you and like? Oh, I also get a phone. Or was did he like walk and see you and have his like mind blown? I th well, no, it was it was more of a he walked in then realized it was me because we introduced names, but he didn't say it right at first because like we talked for a second. They said actually I know who you are, and then he said it. So it was about three minutes into the conversation then he said it. So I don't know, maybe he did come on purpose, but he actually I mean he inquired about some phone stuff too. Um, so I don't know. I really don't know. That's so but, crazy. But it was either way. I I don't care because more than likely what happened because I noticed that I looked at my Facebook page, um, Alex Cat Music, and it showed that he liked it. So, so and yeah, I'm assuming. He, he so what I'm guessing is, Facebook. yeah, he probably found my personal profile or something, and maybe, but I don't know because I never asked him. I didn't know if he actually came purposely or what, but because it doesn't say what Verizon I work at, it just says I work at Verizon. So, I don't know. But uh, either way, that was it was super cool. That's all I got. It really is though, and it's not like it's really not too when you think about it, not too crazy weird when you know how YouTube works. Like it tries to cater to an audience um, vaguely close to your region, like mm -hmm. first. So when you put out content, um, generally it won't just suddenly show up on I don't know Germany's YouTube page or whatever. It kind of work it works its way out from wherever you're located. So, for like in in the U.S., it would start in in our case in Illinois and start working its way outward as as mm -hmm. it got more views or whatever, depending on what type of audience would be interested um, in your content. Because it tries to cater the content. At least now, it wasn't always like that, but that's what it is now. So it's not too crazy weird, but at the same right. time, it. It is kind of crazy weird, so... It's cool. Oh, I, okay, I got, a, I got a topic that'll probably last about 30 seconds to talk about. Oh, I, sure. Um, so what do you guys think about changing from favoriting to liking on Twitter? You know, I... <sighs> I, don't, I don't get why they changed it. I love what they Me did either. with the explosion of color and lights when you, <laughs> when you like yeah, it. Yeah, that was cool. That, that's pretty. That's, that's super kawaii. Um, but I don't like that they changed it to like just because it seems like they're trying to be Facebooky. You know? Yeah, I thought that too. It well, then here's the problem. It's all the same because Facebook, you like it. Twitter, you heart stuff already. Like, or not Twitter, I mean um, Instagram. Right. So I, I kind of liked how they, were, they had their own thing. I don't know. I guess I kind of see it because, like, you know, 
do you favorite it? And it's like, it's not, I guess it's not my favorite tweet, so I don't want to favorite it. You know what I mean? But it's like, okay, I like it. I said, well, because if you get But no one sees your favorites, though, so who cares if, you know? I don't know. Because if you can see past the idea, well, it's not my favorite comment, if you can get past that and you just favorite stuff you like, um, because, you know, there's this huge thing about, like, Facebook's going to be implementing the dislike button now, which I'm still not sure if that was even true or another another hoax. But, like, on, on Twitter, if they introduce the like button people are going to start asking for the dislike button. And I just don't think we need that, personally. I know some people would love to have it, but in my opinion, it's like, if you don't like it, don't just ignore it or unfollow or something, you know? Right, but that's like asking a person on YouTube to not comment negative stuff. You know what's going to happen. Yeah, you know. I mean, I mean, right, which is why I don't think there should be a dislike button, because I know how it's going to be used. And that's why I don't think... Uh, Twitter should have a like button because then it's gonna people are gonna start asking for a dislike button. I kind of like the idea of favorite because there's not really an opposite of that unless you have a hate button, which hate button. Twitter already has technically a no hate policy, even though it's you know hard to police. Uh, so it's, right. that would be kind of funny. It's like because like the fa- the um favorite or not the favorite the like is the heart, so like a hate would be like an X or whatever. Or a skull and crossbones. Skull and crossbones. It's like a white hood. White hood? <laughs> like a KKK symbol? Yeah, like a KKK yeah, symbol. <laughs> I don't think that would be received too well. <laughs> but yeah, like... I, I, I don't... Like, it's a small change, and I'm not going to gripe on it too much. I just... I don't know why they thought that they needed to change it from favorite to like i could see like you know just from you know just call it fave maybe i could see them shortening it because you know that's sort of twitter's thing you know the 140 characters short 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 i could see them just calling yeah. it fave but like just seems facebooky and i don't it, know why. yeah it really does well see that's the thing like seems facebooky and the heart thing seems instagrammy like well, see, Instagram, just, I will admit, Instagram is actually owned, okay, I might have to double check this, but I believe uh, Instagram is actually owned by the same company that owns Twitter. They're actually connected. Either way, they're so. still, in a, in a way, in, to like, the average consumer is separate entities. But, and, but, like, and I, you know, I don't know, I just, I like them being different. That, that'd make it weird, too, if you own the same, if you own two different products and then you try to make them the exact same. Yeah. It's kind of like if if you owned like a um, dairy milk product and an almond milk product, and for the almond milk you started making with dairy milk. It's like there's there's obviously a difference between the two, and people liked the differences, but now you're making them the same. Right kind of a stretch of an analogy but i think it well no you could there. you could say like you have the almond milk and then like just like the regular milk but then like the the cases are the containers are completely different like one's blue one's orange then all of a sudden they make them both orange <laughs> that kind of thing yeah i don't know either way it's i, I want milk now i do like <laughs> the explosion of color though <laughs> it's kind of nice i like that that's, that's they could have just made it instead just kept it the star and then just made it the star explode they should have just, like, the star shoot across the screen. Like a little shooting star every time. That would have been kind of neat. You click it, and it just kind of blasts off into the corner and explodes or something. And it could be, like, a random corner every time. That would be so cool. Like the whole screen explodes. It just shakes and explodes. It blows up. <laughs> like your phone is inoperable for a good 20 minutes afterwards. <laughs> but because I do like because... I keep bringing up the explosion of color, and there's a good reason I bring it up, because it makes it sort of exciting and pleasurable to do, to actually do the favorite or do the like or whatever. So I, I like that. I, I, I'm suddenly very conscious of how often I use the word like, but I like <laughs> like, 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 like the way they do that. Do you like it or do you like like it? <laughs> like, like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I didn't see that movie. I have not either. You've never seen that movie? Good God. <laughs> so we should just make a list of all the movies that you need to see that you haven't seen. Yeah. Um, there are so many. Like, <laughs> I, I have not what? seen a lot of movies. In the grand scheme of things, I have not 
actually seen a lot of movies. Yeah. Really, I have There's so many people are like, have you seen that? I'm like, no. And they just list off all the... I'm like, how how have you seen this many... What do you do with your day? Just watch movies all day? (laughs) Well, here's the thing. There's some people who are like a part of this Netflix culture where they just sit down and like on their days off, like all they do is watch Netflix all day. I could not do that. I don't have the patience. But there's some people like we've got a buddy, you know, he watches like so many shows on Netflix. Like how could you just have the patience for it? Like, I don't know. Well, because it's it's the same idea where like people would always watch you know, people would come home and watch TV all day, basically. Except now it's Netflix, so it does it. It makes some sense because because everyone's got their vice. I come home and I watch sure. way too much YouTube. There's so much YouTube stuff. I I like to pretend it's uh, like research for my own YouTube channel or whatever, but it's really not. I just watch a lot of Let's Plays. I mean, it's why I do yeah. my Let's Play. I enjoy the concept. I like doing it. Um, so I watch a lot of Let's Plays. Way too much. Way too much of my time is spent watching Markiplier, PewDiePie, Game Grumps, um, it, you know, all the big names, and there's uh, some other ones, but um, so much time. And see, and like you said, yeah, that's pretty much, that's your, that's your advice, I get that. Um, and now I guess really with Netflix too, it's like just, um, there's a lot more movies just at your fingertips now that you, that you don't even need to get a DVD for anymore, you know, and yeah. people are just slamming through them. I don't know. There's a lot that I movies that I need to see that I haven't seen either. Um, but we still need to have that 80s movie day, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, because I haven't seen so many of them. Uh, I haven't seen... Yeah, I, I can't even, even think of the names. But if you, you haven't you seen start... Breakfast Club. You haven't nope. seen, like... You haven't seen Titanic. Nope. Um... Which Titanic is, like, you have to see Titanic. In Titanic, yeah, the, like, quintessential romance movie, apparently, and I've not seen it, so. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Isn't it crazy that the guy who made Titanic, literally, he's the only, like, he beat his own movie out for, like, number one. Was it in terms of box office, say? Or yeah, box office. Was number, like, and then he, 10 years or 15 years later, he makes another movie and it beats his own. I think that's brilliant. I, oh, man. Like, yeah, yeah he's, I, he's a living legend. <laughs> did you guys um see Avatar? Yeah, yeah. we actually have it. Yeah, we, we own, own it. it. I actually didn't like Avatar that much. Like, it was, I feel like it got way too much hype for what it actually was, at least in my opinion. It kind of depends, like, you're, in my opinion, your enjoyment of the movie depends on how acutely aware of the whininess about the environment it actually has. <laughs> oh, but, God. Like, once you become what, aware of that, then it sort of detracts from it a bit. You know, this this is going to sound silly, but I think this is one thing that helped that movie succeed, was the fact that that was one of the first movies that was released on um, Blu-ray. Um, like, that was right when Blu-ray like was like, oh my god, look at this. It looks amazing. Well, Avatar, like, I, no, that's how it's meant to be watched, because there's so much... CGI and, gra- you know, and all, going to special and that's effects what I'm and that sort of like, thing. Oh, yeah, like, it was just, it was, and, like, I remember that was the first thing I ever saw on Blu-ray, and that was quite a while ago. I remember I remember being blown away by how it looked, because the quality was just beautiful, and uh, I think that helps, because people would just go, did you see this? Because I remember when people talked about it, and it was out, they were talking about how great it looked. I remember that was, like, a huge and point about the whole that's movie. A lot, that's a lot of the reason why people like it so much, is mostly just because of the look. You actually, I very rarely heard, it's like, oh, it's such a great plot. The acting is great in it. It's... Well, see, and that's kind of why action movies sell so much. Because, like, the plots are usually pretty crappy, but, like, there's just a lot of action, and people would just want to see that. It's just, it's like a quick... Because, like, I, I liked Avatar, but I think it was, it was over-exaggerated how good it was. And the biggest reason people liked it was just because of the special effects and how it right. looked. Opposed um, to, like... Any other movie cat or movie statistic or look of it, or I don't, I don't Com- know. Completely random. Do you, have you guys seen uh, Independence Day? No, no. Oh my <laughs> god! I'm sorry. That's like, another um, one everyone says is great, and I haven't seen it. Independence is... Day is one of Will Smith's best. That's such a good movie. Oh. Will Smith's best is Men in Black One, Two, and Three. <laughs> Hell, yeah, it's a Men in Black One. Men in Black One was awesome. Yeah, Men in Black One was awesome. Men in Black Two was good. 
Like one, you know, because it was the first, clearly has just has to be better. And even right. three, I thought was a great throwback to the original too. I'll right. I'll be honest, none of them are bad. Like, no. um, but there's, there's something very special about one that was just yeah. Oh, de- so, oh, definitely. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, no two, and then I did. What was three again? Wasn't three, three was like when like, he goes back in time. Because I because yeah, it's I actually it's, it's semi new. It came out like. A few years ago. Because I actually haven't seen that one. I own it. I barely remember it. You did, You might not have seen it. Did you actually go and see it? I know, I remember. I think we saw it. Well, I, I, I wasn't with you. I didn't see it. And I actually bought it before I saw it. Because I knew, I'd, I, knew I would want to own it. I never saw it in theaters or whatever. Okay, so man, never mind then. So yeah. it wasn't with me. Because I, I didn't think I knew anyone that actually went and saw it. Because I, I was the only one excited about it. That I remember being excited, excited about it. it. Maybe you just never talked to you about it. Because I know I'm, I was I'm excited not. to see it. I, who did I see it with then? No wow, idea. Man in Black 2 was released all the way back in 2002. When was the first one released? Probably 90s. 2000. 97. Really? 97. Was it 97? Yeah, and I, was, I, knew, I knew for sure it was 90-something. I thought it was early 2000s. No, that was Man in Black 2. I thought I remember, were early I remember watching that when I was really little and thinking, thinking like the part like with the dog when he's like shaking him. Yeah, I remember thinking that was the funniest thing as a kid. Dude, I I laugh so hard every time I watch like the first one or two, and you can just see the dog's penis. <laughs> they didn't have to censor it or, or try to like pretend it's not there. It's just it's just dog penis. That's a you can see <laughs> this the sale lot when the dogs like jumping over and they have all those scenes. Oh yeah, and his penis. junk is just there. It just makes me laugh. That's Did you know, movie. for um, Anchorman Two, they actually had to censor out a bunch of shots with Baxter in it because you could see the Baxter's junk, and they wanted it to be a PG thirteen rating. Really, Who's Baxter? The dog. The dog. Okay, I was wondering. Seriously? Yeah, they, they actually had to like censor a dog's penis out so it could be rated PG-13. Wow. Yeah, that's because that's why I think it's so funny because back then, since it was an animal, animal penis could get you could get away with on, in movies without too much of a hit. But nowadays, it's it's kind of any penis. Any penis is a bad penis. Yeah. Here's what I don't understand about that. Maybe you could explain this to me. It's like. There's so much more, like in TV shows, that they can get away with now. I'm talking sexually. Obviously, you still can't see a penis on TV. But what I'm saying is, like, there's so many things they're pushing the bar on so far. But yet, some parts are getting more censored, like the dog penis thing. Why Why is that? Does that make sense? You know what I'm asking? Like, Hello, Ender Fights Gaming. Welcome to the podcast. Ender Fights says hello, everybody. Hello, Ender Fights Gaming. Yeah, the thing with the... It's weird because with movies and TV shows, right, I feel like we've gotten a lot more progressive with allowed, allowing a lot of different things, like, you know, uh, partial nudity and swearing, drug and alcohol use and that sort of thing. But for some reason, it's gotten more conservative toward animal rights, <laughs> like the like the animal penis thing. Um, <laughs> it's really, it's a weird sort of... It's a weird situation in movies and TV right now. Well, it's kind of weird because, like, you have the TV, and TV shows get rating, or get rated, but the problem is, like, you know, it doesn't really matter. You can watch it either way. And the thing about movies is that when people are making movies, they would want it to be, depends, if they want to see a lot of people to see it, they want it to be PG-13 or less because a lot less people can see if it's rated R. So they have to try extra hard to do it. However, with TV, they don't care so much because if you rate their TV show in MA17, it doesn't really matter because if you want to watch it, you can watch it if you know what time it's on. You know what I mean? Sure. It's, that's kind of like the South Park thing. They're not going to try to censor themselves because they were just going to do what is allowed on TV, like the very limit. And if you want to watch it, you'll watch it. However, for a movie, it's like, oh, I want to go see the scary movie. Oh, but I'm only 16. I can't get into an R-rated movie. Right. I remember um, there's a, there's, I don't know how many people. I'm going to say a bunch, though. Like, there's a bunch of people who are 
making a big stink about how the new Halo game was rated teen and not rated M. I don't know if oh, you guys... Oh, was it really? Yeah, it's, it's huh. rated teen instead of M. Um, they pretty much got rid of blood that was in it. They just saw no need for it. Um, because technically when you're getting shot in like your like your Spartan lock outfit, you're not going to be able to see blood. Um, so I mean, unless it's, like the, the laser shots or whatever broke the armor. Right, exactly. Interesting. And for whatever reason, they got rid of it. And I really don't mind it because there was never really a lot of... I mean, Halo is by no means a gory game to begin with. But like the only difference between that and the, and the older games is they got rid of the blood animation, basically. So... But there are so many people who are like, almost like dissing it because it's rated teen instead of M. It's like, are you kidding me? Like it's. Well, I'm. That's actually. I and I wasn't aware of that. And without doing any research or anything on that, I think that's actually a great move because you look at, if you look at your Call of Duties and Battlefields, you have situations where it's rated M, so technically the only people that are supposed to play it are supposed to be 18 and up. 17. And or 17, yeah. Uh, rated M. Rated. Rated adult is 18. But yeah. uh, so rated M is 17 and up. But you you have people of all ages playing those games and being, right. you know, um, and observing the uh, the blood, the violence, blah, 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 blah. Whereas, okay, so Halo can take a look at that and be like, well, we could put in the blood and all that stuff and make it rated M and everyone's going to play our game anyway. Or we could just say, hey, let's just make it rated T. Then everyone's okay to buy it as long as you're a teen. And uh, we'll just take out the blood. You know, you're yeah. not taking out and the then, violence. Like, more the buy it. Like, like a kid can buy it. He doesn't have to make, you know, like, mom doesn't have to buy it, you know, or, yeah. you know, whatever. So, yeah, I, think, so yeah, I think it's a... Yeah, I think yeah, it's a I great frankly, move. If the game is fun, I don't care what it's rated. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, I really don't care. But it's just, there's, it's just people online who are just like, well, man, I, I don't want to play it now because it's rated teen. It's not... It's like... What, are you cool for playing an M-rated game? Come on, we've all been doing it since we've been 10. So, I mean, it's not now, like you're... I can kind of see, like, the big um, outburst, like, once you hear, like, oh, it's put down to T. So you think, well, what what did they do? They made it more childlike, and that could kind of make you mad. Like, are they going to be, like, if they're talking, they're going to say, oh, gosh, darn it, <laughs> those dumb heads... How dare right. they? Right, I mean, like, but the thing is, is, like, they really didn't change anything like that, because Halo never really swore that much to begin with, so it's, like, it's one of those one of those things where, like, you know, if they would have added, like, a bunch of unicorns and ponies running around, and that's what Master Chief is writing, that's a completely different story, but... Because that's what I'm saying, like, at just, at the first time you hear it, and if that's what you think, I can see why people are upset, because they're like, yeah. hey, this is supposed to be, like, an adult game, you know, why are you making it... What 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 do you, why are you take why are you changing the um, style the um... right now the only game that I would be concerned about if they change from M to Team probably literally the only game would be like Grand Theft Auto like if they took like Grand Theft Auto and made that team like what could you do well because Grand Theft Auto their basic basically their sole mission in life is to actually push the bounds as far as they possibly can that's what I'm saying so, yeah so they they would never even attempt that if they did it would be literally Going back like, to no, honestly, like, what do you think could happen in a teen-rated Grand Theft Auto, or what could they not do? They couldn't, they couldn't pick up hookers. They couldn't swear nearly as much. Couldn't swear nearly as much. Well, you can swear some. No, well, not I, as there's, much. There, oops. I, um, usually, swearing nowadays is restricted to the use of the f bomb to get to um, rated M. You, you can only use the f bomb so many times, and then you basically have a rated M game. The other, the other words can be used so long as they're not used profusely and that's kind of a subjective rule that the ESRB would have to decide on. So there'd still be swearing but not nearly yeah. as much and no F bombs. Um, there would be no uh, nudity of any kind, breast showing or, or penis showing like in gay Tony. Um, and you might be able to pick up hookers since it's only suggestive. Suggestive themes are sometimes rated T. It's a very thin line though. Yeah. Um, you couldn't go into strip clubs at all. That was, in a T game, you couldn't do that. Um, you couldn't play tennis. Tennis is off limits. <laughs> you could play tennis. Tennis is for adults only. Basically, but, it would not be Grand Theft Auto anymore. I mean, if you went day, back just... to like Vice City levels <clears throat> and and before that, Vice City levels and before of Grand Theft Auto, I think that's basically a rated T Grand Theft Auto by today's standards. By today's standards, yeah. Yeah, because I, I think, off the top of my head, I think Vice City was M. 
it but is, today yeah. I think I I feel like it would have a strong case for T by today's standards. Yeah, Vice City. When I at least when I think back on it, it doesn't seem that like crazy. It doesn't seem nearly as bad as like the fifth one. Right. Right. I remember, man. I remember loving playing those games. I just I remember being a kid playing these and just loving how I could do whatever I wanted. I just loved that idea, and they they did it. Have it. Do you guys, I doubt you do, but like, do you ever plan on getting it on PC? No, probably not, because um, my favorite my favorite Grand Theft Auto has always been, to this day, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I freaking oh, yeah. love that game on the console. It was like my first real experience with owning Grand Theft Auto and playing. It's always been my favorite. I love this, the sort of style and atmosphere, the, the lingo of the, um, what was it, the 70s? 80s? Or, actually, yeah, no, The um, Tony was 70s. I, I think it was the 80s, whatever it was. It was that 70s, 80s transitional period. I just loved everything about it. I loved the island experience. I loved that not everyone was, like, way too profane. Uh, it was there, but it wasn't, like, stupid. I loved it. I loved learning the layout of the city. Um, I used to have the entire map memorized by, by heart. Oh, yeah. I could tell you where literally anything was, except I, I didn't have quite all the hidden packages yet. So I love the game. Now I think, I think they actually have Vice City now available for PC, but I'd certainly, if I if I had, I'd still play it with a controller. I probably wouldn't consider getting Grand Theft Auto Four or Five or whatever on PC just because I think it's better. It's meant to be played on a console. But I agree. That's, There's yeah, some that's games. My opinion. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I've always preferred it on a console. Although I know a lot of PC gamers got really excited about it coming out on PC. Well, a lot of PC gamers, too, they, they get excited about the modding potential of a lot of games. And, like, yeah. you look at Grand Theft Auto V, a lot of people are modding the crap out of that. And I don't like to mod my games. They're, and I'm not, I'm not, it's nothing against modding. I just... I find that to be, like... You've got the game, right? And if you have to mod the game like crazy then you have to ask yourself was the game is the game worth anything to you by itself is the game yeah. valuable standing alone and by itself and if you have to mod it like that you know i, I question it's like you're not playing even the the game anymore you're not playing the, the game it, yeah which you know if that's what, how you want to do it fine but to me it's just not the experience i'm looking for Right, exactly. I don't know, that's... Like, if I were to do any modding, like, you know, if I ever did that, I'd definitely want to, like, beat the game first and then have fun with, like, mods yeah. and stuff afterwards. Yeah, it, it, That's yeah. kind of how I would do it. That, I think that is where mods really reign supreme is for, uh, uh, you know, after beating the game, post-game content. Right, which, it which is it, yeah. fine. That's totally great, you know, but... Because that's one thing mods do, like gives the games like a lot of replay replay capabilities because you're you can pretty much change the whole game yeah very true all right Ugh. well uh we've been we've been yammering on for about an hour so i think it's wrapping up time does anyone have any final few things they want to get off their chest before we get going i got some hair i need to get off of it but i'll probably just shave that some hair uh here let me hand you let me hand you my little razor. All right. You, you got okay, it. Thank you. There yep, you go. I got it. <laughs> um, I've got thank a you. I've got a couple of cool ex uh, announcements myself. Um, they're, they're for my for my channel, and you're not gonna see them for a while because uh, you know, I'm doing the one video a week thing, so it, it's it's gonna take a while. But uh, I I've played through and recorded all of Portal. <gasps> so. That, so I knew, I knew you'd be excited about that, Alex. That starts in two weeks. Uh, tomorrow, I'm playing a game called Adam is Gay um, <laughs> j by request. It's a strange point-and-click type thing, just a one-off uh, internet game. And then in two weeks, I should start up Portal, and that's going to run for some episodes, uh, like six or seven episodes. And uh, Wiley and I just finished recording Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Oh yeah, it was it was crazy. So wait, brothers, a tale of two sons. Yep, that... brothers, a tale of two sons. It's a game that came out last 2013. year. Is it on Steam? Two years ago. Yeah, it's on Steam. 
It I came think out I've two seen years it. ago. I think it got Game of the Year awards. Oh yeah, I've places. heard this is a really, really, really fun game. I've seen that. It was. It was. It was so an adventure. Fun. So fun. That's right. Okay, never mind. I'm looking at a picture of it. Yeah, I remember seeing a review on it. It looks like a lot of fun. Like yeah, it's a really cool. Wasn't like, isn't it like visually really neat too? Like a very interesting art style, or might it was not really. Yeah, it wasn't like anything like too crazy for art style, but like I mean, it was it was well it was, done. There's a lot of artistic value in the game, like in general, in, in, in all of it basically, and the art style really does help. Um, we don't spend a lot of time talking about it because it's not really our area, but yeah, right. it, it's it's kind of an it's kind of an artsy game, an artsy adventure game. I liked it. I dug it quite a bit. It'll run for about six or seven episodes as well. I think it, it's it's a fairly short game. It's about portal length. Okay. So those are cool. Two, uh, a couple of cool let's plays. I'm looking forward to doing on my channel. It's been a while since I've done a real game series and actually completed it. Um, I, I honestly, the last game I remember completing completing on my channel has literally been the first Zelda, and that's just sad. Um, oh gosh, long time ago. <laughs> You know, as far as, like, a real PC or console game, I think um, right. Mad Father E or something came after that, but I don't remember which. But, like, oh, it's yeah. been that long since that I've played good. a real game series and, and finished. So, that's cool. Um, yeah. got, got any hints about what's coming out next on your channel, Alex? Um, yes, I can. I'll say, well, I'll say one thing. That the very end of the month is a medley. I'm not going to say what. Okay. But... It's a medley of something, so I need to start doing more of those, and that's coming out. This coming up week um, is going to be a song about a man who can't feel his face when he's with somebody, but he loves <laughs> it. Hmm. Okay. So, I pretty much told you what the song was, but I'm not going to tell you what the oh, medley is. Oh, I have but no is idea. Coming. It's a riddle, Alex. It's a riddle. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but there you go. Okay, cool. That'll be exciting. Oh, yeah. All right, and, and Wiley, Wiley, what's you're... going on in your channel? Yeah, Wiley, you're starting a yes. uh, you're starting a skateboarding channel, right? Yes, I'm gonna do <laughs> all the the kick flips and the ollies and the Christ airs. Do a Christ air and the yo yos. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. All right, we've been nameless and shameless. I've been West, and once again, I want to thank uh, you two. I want to thank Wiley, thank Alex for uh, joining me on the podcast this week. Well, don't mention it. To anybody. No, I won't. Thank no. you. Seriously, no. <laughs> and uh, Logan couldn't be on this week, but maybe he'll be on next week. Things come up. Uh, you know, stuff happens. Um, I want to thank all of you out there for watching and joining us on this talking adventure for an hour and almost five minutes now. Um, and if you enjoy our podcast, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, let everyone know who we are. It helps to get our namelessness out there. So that we can keep doing this podcast. It really helps. All right, yeah. but whatever you do, I hope to see you guys on the next podcast next week. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Farewell. Sure. I fetters and hey. <laughs> <laughs>